It was awesome. Candace Owens, Charlie Kirk, Z Zuby, anybody, like all of these people that are right-leaning or right-affiliated came out with the fire, with the absolute fire, and scorched Donald Trump. They absolutely roasted him. You know why they roasted him? Because he said something ridiculous and they let him have it. They told him to stop playing the victim. Because you know, they're big on not engaging in these victim Olympics. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing the video right now. Now you gotta send me the quotes of what they said. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, none of them? Not a word. They haven't said anything. Huh. Are you sure? Can you check again? In silence. Um, okay. Thanks. Um, turns out uh, I may have to apologize because none of that stuff happened. None of those people said anything. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Escaping the Echo Chamber. So, unsurprisingly, the absolute sheer hypocrisy, the absolute complete and utter lack of standards, of, of principles, of consistency, of coherence, of any type of integrity, the absolute absence and lack of it is made abundantly clear because Donald Trump this weekend gets up on the stage at TPUSA. There's a big TPUSA event. They're, they patterned their entrances after WWE wrestlers. Literally, they literally, like they got the smoke shows and everything, it was ridiculous. But what was more ridiculous was the substance of what happened. You know, it's not just, it's ridiculous enough that you've got a coward like Josh Hawley being given uh, like a, a champion's entrance but what's more ridiculous is the substance of what these clowns are talking about and donald trump gets up on stage and says that while well, a friend of his a friend of his said that he may just be the most persecuted person in all of history a friend of mine recently said that i was the most persecuted person in the history of our country me the most persecuted i never thought it that way i never had time i was always fighting with these people that were trying to persecute me. I may have misspoken when I said all of history. He may have said all of American history. He may have said that. As if that makes it better. I can think of millions, millions of people, but let's not even get to that just yet. Let's get into the fact of how stupid that saying is and, and how much of a loser he has to be to make that statement. He says he is the most persecuted person in American history. And I'm waiting on the those stand-up individuals from the right to call him out for his playing the victim card for him playing in the victim olympics where are they where are they you've got those big names i mentioned you got plenty of these youtubers who keep using those those buzzwords oh why are you in the victim olympics oh playing victim these these oppression olympics why are you playing victim just always the victim card and nothing silence absolute fucking silence from these clowns from these people that have no principles, no integrity, that stand for nothing. 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 <laughs> nothing. Silence. That's what we have. Because this clown, who is, by his, by his account, a billionaire, and by now, I think he actually is a billionaire. Even if he wasn't prior to going into office, those four years were good to his pocketbook. You can lie if you want to and pretend, oh, Donald Trump didn't, uh, Donald Trump paid for his own campaign out of his pocket. No, he didn't. Donald Trump didn't accept any money for his campaign. Yes, he did. The FEC records are there. They exist. There's evidence. There's papers. There are facts, data, evidence that completely disprove the nonsense that people built up around this clown. But aside from the fact that he is a con artist, a a shady businessman who greased palms to keep himself out of trouble, to get himself special treatment. And, and that's the funny thing. To him, the lack of special treatment feels like persecution. So just the ability to just 
not being given everything on a silver platter, not having the media lie on his behalf, not having the media create this false image of him to help him sell his brand, that is what he considers persecution because he is so used to having people cheat and, and do underhanded things to serve his interests. So now that they stopped doing it, and they stopped doing it for political reasons, not for integrity reasons, because their pieces are garbage too, absolute pieces of garbage. So when the mainstream media gets out there and acts like, oh, Donald Trump is a horrible person, you made Donald Trump. You literally made that piece of garbage. You literally made him, built him up into this, this fake, created this fake persona for him so that millions of people around the country thought that he was actually a good businessman, that he was actually somebody that could be trusted to run the country. But that's where we are. The ridiculous part is then he then starts talking about how, you know, he hasn't thought about it. Funny because you talk about it a lot. For somebody who hasn't thought about it, you sure talk about it a lot. I'm just saying. But he goes on to talk about how, oh, I haven't thought about it because I'm too busy fighting against all of the persecution. Is this your king? Is this your king? And predictably, these hypocrites that have no substance, that have no standards, that have no souls, are so, so silent. Not a peep. Just... That's it. They have nothing to say. None of their tirades that they will routinely engage in when talking about black people, when black people are talking about actual oppression, when black people are talking about actually being murdered by law enforcement, actually being brutalized by government agencies, actually being conspired against by government at various levels, that's playing victimhood. This billionaire who's been used to having everything handed to him on a plate and now he's just getting called out for his bullshit, that's persecution. You people are fucking clowns. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. But if, if you disagree with me and you think, no, Donald Trump is a patriot and they're out to get him. No one's ever faced this type of oppression. Give me a thumbs down and state in the comment section, when did you get your lobotomy? I'll see you next time.